Hi, today I have the pleasure of welcoming back my friend Linda Toma. I bet Linda is a familiar face because she's been with <laughs> us before. But today you're wearing a different hat, Linda. I am. Yes, she's wearing the remote area medical hat. Right. As a community volunteer, because Linda and a, and a, a major group of people are working together to put together this event. Correct. And I did have Lynn McInnes from Concordia came on yes. a few months ago. To She's talk our about, leader. Yeah, yeah, to talk about RAM. But I want to kind of re-educate our audience. Okay. So RAM, or Remote Area Medical, what kind of event is this? So it's a free pop-up health clinic. Free medical, free dental, free vision. Um, services are available all weekend, the weekend of November 11th and 12th. Okay. And we're bringing it to Butler. That is, so this is the first time. This is the first time, yeah. This is the first time. Yeah. And I know because I've been kind of on the back end too, mm -hmm. working and helping to, to organize some, some of the activities. This has been a major undertaking, mm -hmm. but is so incredibly important. Linda, I know with the work that you do, why, why do we need this here? In our community. Sure. Um, you know, unfortunately, we have um, a lot of folks that are either uninsured or underinsured. They might have insurance, can't afford the copays, right. or maybe they don't have a doctor. In Butler County, we definitely have a shortage of, of doctors to where if you need a new patient appointment, you're waiting several months to get into that um, practice. Uh, sure. So this is a nice way to get a checkup, a physical, um, get your eyes checked, um, have your teeth done. Um, so it's just a nice, it's a free event, completely free, no insurance requirements. Um, yeah. Just first come, first serve. And RAM is a global nonprofit organization. Yes. And if I remember correctly, these types of pop-up clinics have been happening since 1985? Correct. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Almost and a, 40 years. Really rich history. So this is really well done. And Stan Brock is, is the person that mm -hmm. founded this. Yes. Right. And I know that Lynn attended an event and saw that this might be a possibility to bring it to our community. And that's kind of how it got started. That's exactly how it got started. She was uh, went, and vi went and visited one and um, said, so let's bring it to Loved Butler. it. And yeah, I wanted to bring it to Butler. So right. we've been working on this project for about a year and a half. Okay. And um, it's really a community event. We're trying to get multiple community partners um, to come in and help with this. And we've been very successful. Yes. Um, you know, Concordia Lutheran Services is really our major sponsor, which is great. But there's so many other organizations, Armstrong, um, Center for Community Resources, Butler Collaborative for Families, um, many next to churches, bank, right? next to your bank, yeah, yeah, a lot of churches. So there's opportunity for you to get involved too. Yes. But today what we really want to do is emphasize the importance to you, the community members, that this event is for you. Yes. So let's kind of go over that. Do individuals that want to come, that want to mm -hmm. get a physical, want to get their eyes checked, want to see a dentist, mm -hmm. do they have to register? They do not. It's first come, first, first serve. Okay. Um, you just show up. Uh, mm -hmm. Parking lots will open. Oh, we should say where it's at, right? Yeah, please do. Butler Intermediate High School. Okay. Um, and again, that's November 11th and 12th. Okay. And the parking lots will open at midnight. So Friday night, November 10th. Um, at midnight. At midnight. For that sure. parking lot will open um, for patients. And it's a first come, up. first serve basis. Now, Saturday morning, mm -hmm. when you start seeing patients. At what 6 a.m. Oh, they start at 6 a.m.? They start at 6 a.m., yes. Okay, so that's why the, the lots open up to yes. get people in line or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to register. Do individuals need to bring any type of identification? They do not. No okay. photo ID, no paperwork. No paperwork of any kind. Um, right. You show up however you can get there, whether it's by car, by walking. Okay. We are trying to you know, pay attention to the local news. We are trying to work on some transportation from some local areas, but um, that will be forthcoming. Okay. Um, but however you can get there. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking of myself or somebody that I know. Mm -hmm. I want to go see a medical doctor. I want to get a physical, like a sports physical. Can yes. I do that? Yes, absolutely. Now that paperwork for your physical, for the school or for your organization, you'll want to bring their paperwork with you. Okay. And the doctors will fill that out for you. And I also, now I'm thinking of all these great questions, yes. right? So what about ages? All ages. All, all ages. All ages. So, okay, so I so I want to get a physical exam. Mm -hmm. I would be in line. I might have paperwork for my school, or maybe I just want to give it a physical for my own health benefits. Right. And I go through that. And then I am there, and I want to see a dentist because I have mm -hmm. a toothache or something like that. Right. Do, what do I do? I have to get back in line? No. So everybody um, has the opportunity to do medical appointments. So everybody can 
will have a medical appointment. Then you get to choose whether you want to do dental or vision. Okay. Um, and if if you want both, you would dental and vision. You would you would have to get back in line, right. or maybe come the next day. So maybe you do dental on Saturday and do vision on Sunday. Okay. And and a dentist, they were actually going to do like fillings, things like that. Fillings, extractions. Um, okay. And then what about uh, the vision? Vision, if I needed glasses, for yeah. example. Vision or glasses, um, you'll actually get glasses that same day, except for children. Children, um, they special lenses, you know, the safety glass. Um, so those glasses would be mailed to the children within two weeks. Wow. Um, but adults will get them same day. They're, Where are these doctors coming from? They are all local. They are our, our neighbors here in Butler. So our local doctors, nurses, dentists, hygienists, um, eye doctors, um, which we still need, by the way. If you're listening, <laughs> we need some eye doctors. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, they're all local. They're here oh. from Butler. Well, wonderful. RAM, Remote Area Medical, coming to Butler mm -hmm. November 11th and 12th at Butler Intermediate High Intermediate School. Intermediate High School, yes. And you can learn more about this organization, this particular event online if you'd like to volunteer or, or just simply come. Linda, please tell everybody, the whole team, how much we appreciate what they're doing. I will. I will. Thank you so much for having us. And if you would like more information, if you'd like to sign up to volunteer, it's ramusa.org. Um, you'll select volunteer, select our group in Butler, and you can sign up to volunteer. We need lots of general volunteers still. Um, need those eye doctors. Yeah. Um, but right. yeah, if you'd like to help, we would love to have you. Okay. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.